Hey YouTube, this is Marcus or Gary one again with another video. Today we're going to talk about the difference between megabytes and megabits. Now you may notice I'm experimenting with some green screen action here. Uh, this footage in the background was actually shot just over in the edge of the woods uh, in the yard here today. So hopefully it comes through okay. Now I saw another Facebook post today talking about, uh, this guy said I'm paying for 35 megabits per second download speed from my ISP but I'm only getting 4.5 and he had a screenshot of his Steam interface but what he wasn't paying attention to was that on his Steam interface it was reading it was measuring his download speed in megabytes per second and there is a difference now it gets a little bit confusing because the abbreviations are very similar the only real difference in the abbreviation is that uh, with megabytes the B is capital and with megabits the B is lowercase and to understand the difference, we have to break each of those measurements down into their component parts. Now, as you guys all know, uh, data on a computer is, at its very most basic level, is stored in binary digits, either a 0 or a 1. And starting from there, if we're going to get to megabytes, the first thing we have to do is we have to clump those bits into a group of 8 called a byte. A byte is 8 binary bits. And then from the byte, we then extrapolate on up to uh, the kilobyte, which is 1,000 bytes. Or 8,000 bits. And then we can go to the megabyte by t uh, clumping together 1,000 kilobytes, or 8 million bits. So it's 8 bits in a byte, 1,000 bytes in a kilobyte, 1,000 kilobytes in a megabyte. Now when you're talking about megabits, the byte never becomes a part of the equation. You go straight from bits to kilobits, which is 1,000 bits, and then from kilobits to megabits, which is 1,000 uh, kilobits. So 1 megabit is 1 million bits. 1 megabyte is 8 million bits. So 1 megabit is actually 1 eighth the size of 1 megabyte. So if you're paying for, say in my case, uh, 50 megabits per second download speed on your internet, that's actually going to equate out to a little bit over 6 megabytes per second of download speed. And that is what most of your download managers are going to measure your speed in. Uh, you know, if you're downloading a large ISO file with your internet browser, or if Steam is downloading a game, it's probably going to measure your download speed in either kilobytes or megabytes per second. So, the key difference here, if your internet speed is measured in megabits, you need to divide that by 8 to figure out what sort of trans uh, transfer speeds you should be getting because your download managers are probably reporting your speed in megabytes. So if you're paying for uh, like I said in uh, this guy's this other guy's case he said 35 megabits per second divide that by 8 that actually equates to a little bit over 4 megabytes per second of transfer speed and so the transfer speed he was seeing was actually perfectly acceptable and about what it should have been so hopefully the green screen effect has held up okay I'm trying to work on my lighting a little bit so my shadows don't uh, cause issues with it but if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, this is Marcus out. Y'all have a good one.